Hi everyone, Natalie here getting ready to do a collective reading for everyone. I hope everyone is doing okay. So this will be for all signs, okay? This may resonate for you or it may not resonate for you. If this does not resonate for you, this may not be your reading. If you needed a personal reading, my information is in the description box below for you down there, along with everything else you need to know about this reading, all right? So, let's see. After this, I will be doing Aries. So stay tuned if Aries is anywhere in your chart, okay? Let's get some energy for the collective right now. Holy Spirit and angels. What is the energy, please, for my collective? One card, please, for my collective. Oh, we got two cards that came out. All right, so we have let them go. And then we have the world awaits you. All right, so I'm tired of seeing let them go. So a lot of you guys need to be um, definitely... Be in this energy of being happy, right? I feel like a lot of you guys are in this energy of like being emotional about letting things go, right? Don't be afraid to let things go, all right? Because so, we have how's that for happily ever after. You guys are getting a happily ever after. It could be emotional for a lot of you guys, okay? And then we have the world awaits you. So you wake up this morning or after you let all this go, you wake up this morning and you realize that you have your whole life ahead of you or you have a lot of options or you have a lot of choices and it's like a positivity i'm gonna put this up here you have nothing but positivity to look forward to or to wake up to all right let's see what else is going on for the collective any messages please for the collective right now any messages for the collective right now give me one card Any messages for a collective? All right. So we have last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. Yeah. So it's more that energy of like, listen more than you speak. You have to be in the energy of feeling. Um, more like Buddhist energy, right? And then we have new moon in Leo, shine. Behind that, we have keep your heart open. I feel like spirit wants you to keep your heart open to them. I don't feel like this has to do with love. It could be, but this seems more like of you being more in tune to the divine here. Let go of karmic situations. Let go of karmic mindsets too for a lot of you. Letting go of karmic mindsets is very important for you right now. Make it one card, please. For the collective. We have spell here and tarot cards. Okay. Hand fasting union. I heard two different stories. There could be someone here meddling in the spiritual realm, playing with the tarot cards, trying to manipulate someone's spiritual union. Um, they're using spell work to do this. All right. Um, another energy that I'm getting here. Yeah, someone here, is doing, someone here is doing spell work on someone's relationship or they're trying to stop you from going. It's like a freezing spell. I'm hearing a freezing spell. Okay. For a lot of you, it could be 3.33 on the clock. For a lot of you, it could be like a partnership. It doesn't even have to be love, but someone here is trying to like spy or trying to throw magic on someone's cards. Maybe trying to throw magic on my cards here. All right, good thing I got all the clearance I need. Let me get one of these. We have flow and extraordinary. You have a very attractive side to you, collective. And the attractive part of you is that you let things flow. It's like that peacock energy. You're not really in the energy of like, um, caring what you look like because you know that you look great doing whatever that you're doing. Or you know that, that the flow of life is just like, someone here thinks things come to you so easily, but that's not the case. I feel like you've been through a lot or like it was just in your DNA or like you're just born with it. You don't know why you have it. You don't know why you're chosen. You're just chosen. I feel like some people want to explain, want you to explain yourself. You want a peacock to explain who they are. We have love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself. Yeah, you're starting to tap into the idea of that. You don't need people around you to feel loved. You're in the energy of like loving yourself and loving on, you know, the divine here. We have deepening. 
Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. You guys are in the energy of the cat with the nine lives. This is why cats are always known to, you know, the mythological, you know, story is that uh, cats have nine lives. And a lot of people definitely believe in that. Um, there's cats out here who are very playful and they seem innocent. And then there's cats out here who are very wise. They don't, they do a lot of, they, they're deep with the, with the, how do I say this? They're deep with the divine here. They're in tune with the divine here. And it's because they've lived many lifetimes on earth. So I feel like that's what you guys are learning right now. I feel like you've learned a lesson in your past life and you're in the, and you're in the energy of becoming the old wise black cat type of energy. I wanted to use a twin flame oracle. We have surrender, release, and remember awakening. Yeah. It's like you guys are remembering something here. Something here has been brought to your attention. And it has a lot to do with karma. It has a lot to do with breaking generational curses. Um, yeah, you don't want to learn a lesson all over again. So you're going to be doing something very different this time. What's going on with the collective right now? Holy Spirit and angels. It's like there's something you've learned or there's something that you need to learn. If you've lost the love, you realize you're going to get that love back. We have winter here and celebration. Okay, why is that here? Because I'm getting like like what I heard before, the freezing spell. Someone here is out in the cold of a celebration that's gonna be happening with you. Yeah, someone who's not in the present moment, they don't have any gratitude in their life. Like they have nothing for them to be grateful for. I feel like they're looking at your life and their life and they're realizing that you know, they don't have, like, they worked on the wrong things, I'm guessing. Yeah, we have unexpected and storm here. They're going through a storm right now. They're going through an un unexpected awakening here. We're going to get into the tarot in a minute. We have self-care here. Okay, we have separation that came out. Communication and truth. So you guys separated from somebody, maybe you have, you said something really fast to them and it like, someone here, whatever communication was said, it was the truth. And then you separated yourself from them. And now all of a sudden they have to sit here in this truth. You're, someone here didn't want you to communicate the truth here. They wanted you to be separated from the divine when it comes to, okay, so I'm hearing something about throat chakra. Some here try to project something onto you because they didn't want you to um, have some sort of abundance here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, something stable and for you, they felt like you didn't deserve it here. Okay, so this is someone that spoke something to you, but it wasn't the truth, it was their own truth. Yeah, influencing someone's decisions. This could be someone in your family trying to influence your decisions here. Yeah, but your third eye is wide open when it comes to making a decision here. So they can't affect you. What else please for the collective, then we'll move on into the tarot. Most please for the collective Holy Spirit and angels. It's like you see everything that's going on. No one can really fool you. You're you're not here right now. It's like you're here, but you're not here. So people can't fool you. Yeah, you're you're in your higher self right now. Unity and transcendence is here with ace of water. I feel like also you guys are gonna be heading towards a connection. Coming towards somebody here, but it's it looks like transcendence within yourself, balancing your dark and light. That's really what I'm getting here. The last thing you guys are are codependent, so that's good. Let's get into the tarot. You have the six of swords and the two of cups. I feel like you guys are actually going towards a connection or moving away from a contract, moving away from a partnership for a connection for a lot of you. All right, let's see. What's going on with my collective, Holy Spirit and angels? What is the energy right now, please, for my collective right now? We have the Ten of Pentacles here, but it's in the reverse. Okay, let me keep going. Someone here is losing a lot of money. Someone here is losing a lot of abundance here. I don't. I do not think this is you guys. Or this could be like a family 
being broken up. It must be for the collective. Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse, so they're envious, they're jealous. Someone here is at a loss of something here. Someone here can't connect to the abundance that you have. So there's a Knight of Cups in reverse. This could, this could be someone in your family or someone in your energy that's like really trying to like, they act like a fake friend. What else please for the collective, Holy Spirit and the angels? This person knows what you're getting. Yeah, the moon is in the reverse. It's like they're getting, it's like something here is being revealed. There's secrets here, so they're out in the cold. Okay. Yeah, whatever was hidden came to light about this person. About a fake offer that they've given you. Okay. Let me keep going. What else, please? Yeah. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune here in the reverse. They're receiving bad karma for this, for whatever secret that had came out. The devil is here. They're really toxic. Their toxic ways are coming out. I'm hearing that this person chose their side or it's like the devil didn't win in this sense. Yeah, something here is not closed. Someone here tried to close something for you, but it's something here is still moving for you. Yeah, we have the lovers here and the devil. So this is a karmic connection and a good connection for you, right? Whenever I see the lovers and the devil come out next to each other like that, I'm getting that maybe you moved on from something that was toxic and bonding and filled with addictions to something that's more free and more free will chosen for you. Someone here is receiving bad karma. So they're walking around, they're really envious right now. They're losing out on a lot of money too. What's going on please for the collective Holy Spirit and Ego? Could be a Capricorn or a Pisces. Yeah, the tower or a Scorpio. Towers in the reverse. The magician is here. Someone's magic stopped. The magic has a lot to do with being in your energy. We have the seven of wands here in the reverse. They're not protected. King of Pentacles is in the reverse. They need money. This person is very, um, how do I say it? Yeah, they're stuck in whatever the heck that they did. Whatever the heck they did, maybe they're stuck in poverty or maybe they're stuck in a, a situation to where um, they're dealing with a lot of financial issues right now. They're afraid of something. Someone here is also afraid of commitments. Yeah, okay. They can't move forward is what I'm getting. Who else, please? The collective, Holy Spirit, angels. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. The Fool card here. I'm getting that this person got whatever they dished out to you. And they can't take it here. Yeah, we have the Death card, the Emperor in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. I'm getting something about something here being signed or something here being done, some sort of action being done. Or this Emperor was trying to persuade someone to take an action and it didn't work because... I keep getting energy of you guys being in the Knight of Pentacles. So you cross your T's and you dot your I's before you make any reckless decisions or before you make any emotional decisions. And this person can't take that. They're really impatient. So it's like that type of energy. This person is going to be able to like see who you are or something like that. This person could also be playing around with tarot, like trying to tap into what the heck is going on with you. Um... When they tap in the tarot, what's going to happen is is all their dirty laundry is going to be dished out. So I don't know why they would do that. But because, you know, tarot really reads from the side of the divine. Well, if you're if you're looking at a good tarot reader, they're going to be reading from the side of the divine here and not the sign of the dark side. You know what I mean? Not the sign of the side of the dark side. Let's talk about this moon in the reverse. What happened? Why is the moon in the reverse, please, for the collective? Holy Spirit and angels. Six of Cups, Page of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Star. Was someone maybe trying to hide a child? Someone maybe tried to hide a child or things from the past came up. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Things from the past kept, kept coming up about this person or it will come out about this person that they weren't committed in the past. They may be hiding a child. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah, they caused deception here with maybe a third party. Yeah, this person regrets that. But it's like they think that they can come after your finances or something like that. Yeah, they want you guys to be together. 
this person's missing out on money that's why okay tell me about the ten of pentacles in the reverse please for the collective i feel like you guys avoided something here when it came to money ten of pentacles in the reverse. there's a ten of pentacles again with the judgment card here yeah it's like almost the divine has made a judgment call on someone's finances here um or a family unit here someone's abundance is being yeah something here is either turning in your favor or turning bad for someone else oh wow so we have a king and the queen of pentacles here that are together they're both mature they're both stable i feel like you manifested this person in but we have this knight of swords energy here that doesn't want that to happen here this person notices that things are changing in your favor they're going to try to maybe emotionally manipulate you to make you feel bad about something. They may even involve someone in the middle to talk to you or something like that. Um, they don't want something here to change. Yeah, definitely someone's finances are being judged upon, I guess. Clarify the tower. Let me do that again. Chariot came out, but let me clarify the tower in the reverse for the collective. Holy Spirit and Angels. have the tower in reverse thank you we have the page of wands five of pentacles some sort of news is going to be leaving someone out in the cold it's almost like they um uh, try to make something happen for you but you get like a they see a post or some sort of information comes out about you or them whatever secret if it's a good if it's a secret for you it's a good secret if it's a secret for them it's a bad secret and they didn't expect it to come out why is the page of wands here because i'm getting news you're getting good news and you're ending up avoiding something here yeah seven of swords here someone tried to be sneaky it didn't work maybe with like a third party here nine of wands and the eight of pentacle eight of cups it's like deception someone here tried to be sneaky about something here to avoid something and it like check out the seven of swords temperance ace of wands i'm hearing you guys made a smooth move here whatever move that you guys made it was really smooth and you ended up getting out of something here that's the energy that i'm getting for the yeah the eight of wands and the ace of wands it's like you made a smooth move you could move fast into something something here happened too easy for the collective king of cups is here the two of wands someone here is making plans and the devil yeah someone here is making toxic plans on your happiness trying to keep you stuck so they can close something out for you so just watch out someone here's making plans here clarify the magician please for the collective i feel like you're the alchemist but someone here's the magician three of cups ace of pentacles here someone may be trying to get you to reconcile with them because there's an ace of pentacles here coming for you but i feel like everyone knows this there's someone here from the past that's trying to come back or reconciliation or recognition here let's talk about this wheel of fortune in the reverse please for the collective holy spirit and angels wheel of fortune in the reverse for the collective wheel of fortune in the reverse for the collective the set, six of swords yeah yeah there's the wheel again okay you guys are moving away from something karmic, period. Yeah, we have the world card here. Yep, closing cycles out. You learn this lesson. You got your head on your shoulders with the queen of swords here. Ace of wands, nine of pentacles. You know you have a bright life ahead of you. So you're not worried about anything here. Yeah, three of, pen three of wands. It's like you're anticipating for something good, good to happen to you. And no one can stop it here. Someone here doesn't have any protection on whatever that they're doing here. So... And they're gonna be missing out on a lot of money they just don't see that why is the knight of cups here in the reverse this looks like an offer knight of cups in the reverse four cups page of pentacles why the four cups why the four cups please for the collective queen of pentacles wheel of fortune again someone here it this is like destined for someone here this is destined so this is your confirmation whatever you're going through right now whatever decisions that you're making yes go for it because it's destined we have the queen of pentacles here so it's like it's like you are to 
you're in the energy of like you're positive about your future so you're going to be the queen of pentacles you're going to be someone who's like very mature and stable you're not going to be rushing into anything unless you know for sure you know they don't want you to be in that energy here seven of wands the hangman and the ten of pentacles someone is trying to call delays to someone's happiness it's not going to work or if it does work they're not going to be protected and it's going to be backfired onto them they're not going to be able to handle whatever they brought you oh so that's why they're trying to stop it because it's like okay so it's like one of the things where like you hold back on a rubber band so far and you continue to hold it because you have grudges and you have like bad memories of something and this person wants you to they want you to be hurt by that situation right but you're gonna let go of that rubber band and it's gonna end up knocking them in the face because they they're continuing to they're they're doing something that you're not doing someone here is playing checkers while you're playing chess is what i'm getting here clarify the seven of wands in the reverse please for the collective seven of wands and the hangman ace of pentacles they're trying to block something here for you someone here's trying to send negative energy to your finances also page of cups <sighs> Tell me about that hangman. They're not going to be protected. They're trying to block you and they're not even protected. They're trying to block you and they don't even know what's going on in their life. It's like you're too stable. Eight of swords. They're going to be they're going to be locked up or they're going to be stuck in whatever plan that they plan for you. I'm, I'm getting the energy of they try to like throw the energy of indecisiveness onto you guys and it's going to do nothing but make them indecisive in their own life. They're going to try to cause delays for you or like make it seem like nothing is nothing here is for you, but it is. Clarify the, the six of pentacles in the reverse, please, for the collective. King of Cups. It's this King of Cups energy. He's really strategic in everything that he does. He hides his feelings. We have a death card here in the moon. Yeah, it's like they have bad intentions here. They have, they're like, they're probably a low vibrational Scorpio. I just saw 22, 22 on the clock. They, they want you to be unsure about something coming in for you. They don't want you to move. They don't want you to be married. They don't want you to be stable. They don't want you to have that car. They don't want you to have that new job because you're not going to need them. I feel like you gave them something and said, here, take this. I don't need it. I'm going to have to get another one. And they're like, what? It's like their, their control didn't work here. We have the star here. And Page of Swords, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. They think that they got over on you on something, but, you know... You're just being quiet about whatever you have coming towards you right now. You're not letting them know what's going on. Two of Wands and the Four of Wands. You're moving, you're moving towards something stable. A lot of you could be moving into a new house. And you're planning for it. And they're watching you plan for it. This person is pretending to be committal so they could be in your energy. Okay? And they're spying on you. They want to collaborate with you. But it's like they don't even know where they're going. So how can they help you? Right? Okay. What needs to be said? I'm sorry. They're sorry because they're missing out on money. I don't know what to say. What's going on for the collective? Holy Spirit and angels. What's the energy of this collective? We are more alike than I admit. Your body language says so much. Leaving you hurt me too. I'm picking up that's new energy. I forgive you. You can't come with me. Yeah, you're telling this person, yeah, like I got love for you and all that, but we cannot be together. Leaving you hurt me too. I feel like that's a new energy. <clears throat> I feel like you guys are going to be coming back together with someone here. Okay. Someone is saying we are more alike than I admit. Okay. Well, let me pull up more energy, please. going on for the collective holy spirit and angels okay we have melancholy no emotions came out of this what else please for the collective i'm getting that if, even if you tried to move this person wouldn't even help you move Ugh. like excuse me 
they want to work with you, but they don't want to help you move. Like, um, I don't think so. That's for those of you who are moving. Yeah, they're a coward. They don't even lift couches. They don't even, they don't do none of that. <laughs> That's why you're showing no emotions to them. The dark comes to the light. Everyone could see this about this person. All right. This person doesn't have your strength. They don't. They can't do what you do, and that's sad. And I'm thinking this is more of a male energy than anything. Okay, so we have marital bond, money, codependency. Yeah, they're they're only around for the money. They think you guys have a marital bond. You've already elevated and learned this lesson with them. Third eye chakra. I see you. Yeah, you see exactly what this person is doing. Work ethic is here. You guys have work ethic. This person's doing moon, black magic, things hidden behind the scenes. Yeah, they're confused and overwhelmed. Breaking silence is here. I watch you every day. Some here is watching you. Private calls and fake profiles. You guys have that going on right now. Um, people are watching you from different accounts. Education and study. I wish death on you. See, remember when I said this person's all about death? Like, ew. We have ancestor synchronicities, pay attention to the signs. You told me about this person, but I didn't listen. I feel like this is one of those lessons that you guys are learning. Um, you're telling your ancestors that the signs were all there about this person. You sort of gave them a benefit of the doubt. So now you're in this energy of like just letting things go. You know this person is very materialistic, so you know how to get them off your back, right? While you move on to new love here, okay? Because this person is very confused. They don't know what the heck is going on. And they want you to be in that energy also. So that was your guys' reading. Hope it resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. See you next time. Bye.